This is the solar powered and battery powered Wi-Fi camera. Click on the link below if you want to see where to get these from. As you can see on the box, uh, what it's capable of. This is uh, daytime, uh, also nighttime uh, vision camera, indoor or outdoor. Uh, it's waterproof, uh, comes with a SD card, 16 uh, gigabyte. Uh, you can have 32 or 64, um, which you can change. The batteries you place inside can be charged by the solar power, um, so it keeps those batteries topped up, uh, or you can charge the batteries by the mains um, to get them fully charged up again. Um, as it is solar power, you can um, have these batteries obviously last you a bit longer if it's topping up the charge in them. Um, it says it's very low consumption on the power, um, which will last a long time. This camera also has motion detection and a two-way audio to speak. As you can see, the micro USB is where you can charge this from. Uh, and you also have the SD card that you can um, remove. Just check when you're buying these um, which one has the SD cards that are included and which ones don't. Just scroll down to the bottom and you'll see what's actually included. You also the get the ones that you're buying. Um, iCloud storage. You also um, have the so reset you haven't got the SD there. card and it's connected to your phone, you can save it through the iCloud storage on your phone. Or um, you can just save it through the SD card that's inside the camera. You also have a pack of screws that come with it, so you can screw the screws into the bottom there to make it secure. Also comes with the manual um, showing you how you can uh, scan the apps, um, download the app and follow through step by step uh, which we're going to go through anyway. Here are the fixings, uh, which are wall plugs and screws to mount the bracket. You also have the micro USB charger and a screwdriver to put the screws into the bottom uh, to hold the cover on. Just screw up this nice and easy, uh, this antenna onto the back. This bracket sits underneath the camera, uh, mounted through the two slots on the left hand side. The four holes on the right hand side are to mount to a surface. The camera is all metal, uh, waterproof with a plastic uh, cover underneath where you can access the batteries. As a comparison, I'll put my hand beside it just to show you the size of the camera. Right now setting this up, you can use the camera on your phone just to hold over the barcode. And a lot of the phones these days will just have a ring go around the barcode and pop up with the app that you need to download. Otherwise, click on your apps and go and download iCam.
quality view and it's like a wide fisheye type angle to get more into the view. Once the camera detects any movement, it will come up at the bottom there in an orange mark um, showing what it's seen and you can scroll back to the recording to see what it's picked up from the motion sensor. It will also send you a text message if it sees the motion sensor and sets the camera off or you can, um, if you live in an area where the sensor keeps going off, you can go on the settings and take that um, notification away. Here you can turn on or off whether you hear the sound uh, from the camera or not. Here I add the rechargeable batteries to the camera. Um, I'll leave a link below to show you where to get these from. These are the 18650 batteries, which are rechargeable. On the top right you can see the battery life and the signal from the router to your camera and on the left it will show you the date and time um, of the footage. Here you'll notice a blue light on the front to show that it's powered up and working. Here you can see there's good timing when moving the camera uh, to show there's not much delay. Here I've set up the camera downstairs temporarily outside, out the front. Um, I am two floors up so I'll show you the distance in which this uh, Wi-Fi will connect to the router um, and I'll show you that now.
I'll show you how the night vision works. Here I cover up um, the daylight and the night vision kicks up, kicks in. So it goes infrared. So that on your screen it goes more black and white so you can see in the dark. Here you can plug in your micro USB to charge your batteries. I'll also leave a link of these batteries in the link below. If you have a smart TV, I've also found a way that you can go onto the internet and then get up the app onto your TV, which you can download that to your TV or on a laptop. Depending on how you want to see this camera, um, so you don't have to just have it on your phone, there's other ways to also see this.